Hey there, it's Paige from Smile, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can brand your Smile loyalty program like a pro. Smile's eye-catching rewards panel is super easy to customize, and by doing so, you're gonna give your customers a beautifully branded rewards experience from the first time they visit your website all the way to checkout. Let's dive into some ways that we can level up our loyalty program design. So let's head on over to the Smile dashboard and we're gonna pop into the branding section. If you're on a free Smile plan, your panel might look something like this, but as soon as you upgrade to any paid plan, you will get access to all of the different branding features that Smile offers. Let's start out in the colors section and upgrade some of our colors here. You can either choose a light or a dark theme, but we're gonna stick with light. You can choose a primary and secondary color, which I'm going to edit now. I have my beautiful branding kit, so I'm just going to take the hex code from here and pop it into Smile. We're going to keep our banner as the light pink, but we're actually going to upload an image so we don't have to focus too much here. And we're going to change the text to black so it stands out. We also want to change the header bar font to black, so that would be this part here. Our buttons will change to the secondary color, as well as our links, so they contrast against the white background. And our icons, we also want those to stand out, so we will change that to our secondary color. And the launcher we'll keep as this beautiful light pink and change the text to black. And make sure you save all of your changes. Once you're done editing the colors, you can head over to the shape section and this will change the corner radius of your panel and your launcher. So we're gonna keep it um, the same but we're gonna change our launcher to square. No, we'll change it to shaped. Heading into the wallpaper section, you can add a fun pattern to the background of your panel. So we are gonna go with crosshatch. You can also edit the placement of your panel if you want it to show on the left-hand side of your store or the right-hand side and the spacing. Um, personally, I'm a big fan of the default spacing of 20 pixels. I think it's the perfect amount. You can also edit the placement on mobile if you prefer. Under the visibility section, you can decide where you want the launcher to display, and we definitely recommend keeping it visible on both desktop and mobile so it's seen by the most number of people and visitors. Let's add a banner image to our panel here. And we definitely recommend cropping the image ahead of time to 1080 by 600 pixels to get the best fit. And let's also add a custom brand icon. So if your brand has a secondary mark or a secondary logo, this would be a great place to use that. Lastly, in the theme section, we are going to remove the Smile branding so we get the fully branded experience. So we have our Smile badge down here and if we click None, that will disappear. Let's head on to the Launcher section so we can further edit the look of our Launcher button that will live on the site. So right now it's showing Rose Rewards, which is perfect, you can choose to have image only or text only, but I'm a big fan of the icon, so we're gonna choose icon with text. And we're gonna upload our custom icon again here. So we're gonna choose the same icon we did for the panel. And as you can see, that's reflecting now, and it looks awesome. Another thing to add is that on mobile, it will uh, shrink down to the image only just for sizing purposes so it will automatically respond. 
Moving on to the panel section, this is where we can edit the text in our panel to be more on brand. So let's start out in the header section and we're gonna change it to join the community. Under the account creation, you can get creative. So we'll change it to become a rosebud, which is the name of my brand community members. The default text is also fantastic. So don't feel obligated to change it if you um, prefer the existing text. For already have an account, we're gonna change it to already a rosebud. And then we'll keep the default join now. Next, heading into the points section, which looks like this. Um, I'm gonna keep the text the same, but what you can do here is you can actually upload some custom icons. So I'm gonna do that now. So because my loyalty program is flower themed, I thought these flower icons were super cute and very fitting. Heading into the referral section, we can edit the text here. I'm gonna change it to refer a friend. You can also change the order in which the programs are shown, so if you want referrals to be before points, you can easily switch those. And lastly, if you click towards the member section, you can toggle between the two. And this is what it'll look like when a member is logged in. So again, if you prefer, you can have um, referrals to show up instead of points. And then you can change the order of these as well. Next, let's pop into the email section where we can add our logo to all of the different email notifications that go out to customers. So we're just gonna choose our logo and add that. And you can also edit the color of the CTA if you prefer. And last but not least, before we go take a look at what our program looks like, let's take a look at the email notifications and you can actually edit each individual notification. So if we head on into points earned, we can actually update a banner image. And for sizing, we recommend 1200 pixels by 480 and it'll just take your email notifications up a notch and you can get really creative with these if you wanna add text on top of your image. You can do that in Photoshop or Canva and update all of your different emails to be unique. You can also edit the subject line, the title and the description of the emails. Now let's take a look at what it looks like live on the site. So as you can see, it blends beautifully. The CTAs um, match each other and the black text really stands out. The icon really takes it up a level. If we open it up, we can see our beautiful banner image, icon, and custom text. Our custom icons look amazing. And if we sign in, we can see the members view, which looks fantastic. And that's it. In less than 10 minutes, we were able to level up our loyalty program design and make it a seamless part of the website. And that wraps up how to brand your smile loyalty program like a pro. An eye-catching program will get new visitors excited to join and also improve the overall look and feel of your e-commerce store. For more branding tips and tricks, make sure to check out the Smile blog or the Help Center. 
and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.